Good morning, this is Martha Serena Hedrum, and welcome to the Jamaican Business News Summary, a weekly program of business-related news. Kingston, Jamaica, in a major development, the Ministry of Finance has released a statement confirming the existence of an account belonging to world-renowned Olympian Usain Bolt at the Fraud Hit Stocks and Securities Limited SSL. According to the Finance Minister, the Financial Services Commission FSC, has confirmed the existence of an account in the name of a limited liability company owned by Bolt named WellGen. This account dates back to 2012. This revelation comes on the heels of former SSL Chief Executive Officer, Zachary Harding, stating that his hands are clean in relation to the massive fraud scandal that has rocked the brokerage firm. The investigation into the fraud at SSL continues, and the Ministry of Finance has stated that they are working closely with local authorities and international partners to get to the bottom of this scandal and bring those responsible to justice. As details of the fraud continue to be revealed, the international community is closely monitoring the situation in Jamaica. The existence of Usain Bolt's account at SSL further demonstrates the widespread impact of this scandal and the need for swift action to be taken. As the scandal at Stocks and Securities Limited, SSL, continues to unfold, the legal team for Duke Crossgree, the founder of SSL, has come forward to profess their client's innocence. In a statement released to the media, attorney at law Peter Champagny said, it has come to the attention of Mr. Hugh Crossbury that his name has been mentioned, alongside others, in recent media reports relative to the current inquiry into the business operations of Stocks and Securities Limited, SSL. My client wishes to state that during his tenure with SSL, he did not engage in any unethical or criminal conduct. It's interesting to note the use of the word helicidly in the statement, which means clearly or transparently. It's a big word that the attorney may have been waiting to use in a high-profile case like this. But as the investigation continues and more information comes to light. The investigation into the massive fraud at Stocks and Securities Limited, SSL, continues to uncover new details. According to a source close to the probe, the majority of withdrawals from the account of the company Welgen LLC, which used to invest funds in SSL, were done under the name and purported signature of an ex-member of Usain Bolt's team. Welgen is registered in St. Lucia and was opened on April 25, 2012. Two signatories are on the account, but Bolt is not one of them. It's unclear at this time if the former member's signature was forged or if the individual actually conducted the withdrawals between 2012 and 2017. Investigators are also examining a transfer from Welgen LLC to an SSL account owned by a former member of Bolt's team. As this scandal continues to unfold, it's important to note that this kind of alleged fraud only deepens the lack of trust some international stakeholders already had about doing business in Jamaica. Marketing strategist Joel Nondarkam says this is a serious issue that must be addressed in order to restore confidence in the country's financial sector. And now for the sonnet of the day. In Jamaica's financial realm, a scandal brews, a massive fraud at stocks and securities. The CEO denies all knowledge and who sues to clear his name, his conscience to appease. But as the investigation continues on, new details emerge, a shocking surprise, withdrawals made under a former member's name and transfers to accounts of Bolt's size. The FSC, the BOJ, all try to keep the nation's reputation from being tarnished, but as the probe goes deeper, it's hard to sweep this under the rug, it's all too varnish. And that's it for today. Back to Serena. But trust can be regained, if all is done to bring the guilty to the light, and none shall be above the law and justice one. Only then, Jamaica's name will be shone. That's all for now and good night.